Here, let us look into the various types of quadrilateral. We will learn about a trapezium. Let us see what is a trapezium exactly. A trapezium is nothing but it is a quadrilateral. So that means it's got four sided closed figures. So, so what is different about trapezium? A quadrilateral having exactly one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium. Say for example, we have a four sided figure and then say we have one side like this. And then they say a trapezium is a quadrilateral having exactly one pair of parallel sides. So let us draw another line which is exactly parallel to this line. So say something like this and then join these. Here you have what is called as a trapezium and name this we have A, B, C, D. Now why did I draw this line a little longer than this? Why can't I draw something like say this another line which is parallel to this line and then join. But then it clearly says quadrilateral having exactly one pair of parallel sides is called as a trapezium. The most important point to be noted here is it needs to have only one pair of parallel sides. Now if you have two equal sides that are being parallel then obviously it turns out that the other two sides that close the two sides also become parallel. So this cannot qualify as a trapezium. Therefore, one side has to be longer than the other side or one side has to be shorter than the other side. Even if they are parallel, only then can they be a trapezium. So this is called as a trapezium. There's another term in trapezium which is called as isosceles trapezium. This is quite similar to isosceles triangle. Just that here we are talking about four sided closed figure. So isosceles trapezium is nothing but it is a trapezium where the non-parallel sides are equal. So these are the non-parallel sides, the AD and CB. So when these two sides are equal in length, then that is called as a isosceles trapezium.